Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm going to share tips, builds, and guide on everyone's favorite cowboy, Clint. He is one of the easy yet powerful marksmen that has maintained a good usage rate after his revamp. First skill, Clint shoots 5 bullets rapidly in a cone-shaped area. The fewer targets you have, the higher the damage it can do. So if you want to burst down an enemy, you'd want to avoid other targets inside your skill range. Second skill, Clint will slightly jump backward while shooting a net that immobilizes the first enemy it hits. Its cooldown will be reduced by 40% if you successfully hit an enemy with this skill. This is your only escape skill, so use it sparingly. Ultimate skill, Clint launches a grenade that explodes on the first enemy it hits. The enemies around the target will also receive damage and slow them by 25%. And it can store 5 grenade charges similar to Angela's first skill. Passive skill, after each skill cast, Clint's next basic attack will allow him to hit a line of enemies. The damage can also trigger physical lifesteal, critical strikes, and other effects like Demon Hunter Sword and the talent Weakness Finder. Clint is a burst type of hero that uses both basic attacks and skills in his combos. While attack speed looks fun to use, it's not really optimal because of the way his passive and skills work. You'd want to use burst type items like Endless Battle, Berserker's Fury, and Blade of Despair. Malefic Roar is needed to make sure that your damage can scale well even at late game. You can use Wind of Nature to get protection against physical attacks, or you can add one defense item to avoid burst damage. For his emblem build, I like to use the assassin talent, Killing Spree. The movement speed and heal will give you a chance to survive during team fights. Despite having one dash skill, Clint is still too easy to gank. That's why I prefer Flicker as his battle spell. Clint's combo is pretty basic. You just need to insert one basic attack for every skill that you cast so that you can activate his passive all the time. I prefer starting with his ultimate skill since it has the longest range and it can slow enemies. So a simple combo will be an ultimate, basic attack, first skill, and basic attack. Repeat the process if the enemy is still alive or follow up with his second skill. Always save your second skill for either chasing or escaping because you never know when you'll need it. Clint's counter are high mobility heroes like Ling and Lancelot. His dash is so short that it's almost too easy for assassins to catch him. He needs to pair with someone that can protect him while he attacks. With enough items, his damage is pretty high, which means squishy heroes are usually deleted in a couple of hits. Go at gold lane and poke your lane opponent as much as possible using your passive skill. This way, either your lane opponent will recall and region, or you'll get the opportunity to kill them. And when clearing minions, try to hit them in a straight line so that your passive hits them all. Always pay attention to the map because despite having a dash skill, it's still easy to gank. Stay on your lane and focus on getting gold to fund your core items. Clint is an item-dependent hero and you'd want to get farmed as early as possible. Continue doing this until you destroy the outer tower. Try to be aware of where the enemies are rotating so you can at least anticipate when they will try to gank you. <laughs> when you destroy the outer tower of the enemy, continue defending your tower and look for opportunities where you can provide backup or push lanes further. The range of his enhanced basic attack is one of the longest in the game. It even rivals Layla's basic attack range. 
This means you can use it to poke your enemy safely from a distance. You can use your first skill to check enemies hiding in the bush. You'll know there's an enemy if you see bullets coming out of your gun. But only do this in the early game. In the late game, it's better if you let the tank do the bush checking. When against melee enemies, always try to aim your second skill in their direction. It will stop them from their traps while you safely attack from a distance. Remember, his second skill will get a cooldown reduction each time you hit an enemy. Clean's gameplay is like a glass cannon. He can be very squishy at times, so always stay in the back lines. Don't worry because the range of his passive is enough to hit enemies while hiding behind your tank. Kane's early game is pretty strong against other marksmen. Always use this to your advantage to delay the enemy. Freeze the minions using your range and damage while the enemy is stuck under their tower. is one of those heroes that are strong, yet easy to use. If you want to main a new marksman that wouldn't consume too much time to master, then Clint is your guy. There's not much to learn from this hero, except maybe proper positioning and skill management. So what can you say about Clint? Do you have more tips? Share it in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.